Hey guys, so I haven't made a video in a little bit, uh, mostly because I've been streaming on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash frameworld. But I wanted to put up a video real fast about a technique that I've been using for a little while uh, that I demonstrated on my Twitch channel that a lot of people seem to either not know or find useful. And that's a really quick and somewhat easy way of creating a lot of skin detail on your sculpts very, very quickly. So this is going to be a really quick video, uh, just a little bit of narration over the top of it. As you can see here, I am applying the wrinkling uh, pretty quickly and loosely using Alpha 06, as well as the spray function, and I'm using the standard brush to do this. Um, as I'm applying the Alpha 06, uh, it's creating these vertical striped wrinkles that I can uh, basically use to my advantage to show directional flow of these wrinkles. Uh, as I'm applying them, I'm sort of thinking of the muscle tendons and how they attach on the body to sort of imply where I think the wrinkling and the compression points would be on the skin. But here you can see I'm just I'm just drawing the wrinkling, uh, these vertical lines basically in the in the fashion that they would naturally appear on the face. Areas that compress, like here around the eyes, uh, I'm doing sort of a radial pattern out because they'll compress down, right? Uh, areas on the forehead, well, I already have larger wrinkles there, so they're going to have. Uh, just compression lines that enhance that already. While I'm doing this though, keep in mind that a lot of the detail work that I'm going to be doing using this technique will be muddied down a little bit by the clay polishing that we're going to be doing later on in this video. So I'm, I'm not being too... Uh, precious with it, I should say. Uh, like I said, I'm just trying to give this a overall general impression of what I want the skin to have. So I've just about now finished up all of the detailing that I'll need to do on the face wrinkle-wise using Alpha 60 uh, and the standard brush with spray. So now I'm going to move over to the tool panel here and I'm going to go into my clay polish and I'm going to set the surface to one and the edges to negative one. And here I am also going to go down into masking and I'm going to set a cavity mask. This is because I want to create a, an effect and that doesn't affect the nice sharp cavities that we've created using Alpha 60. So essentially I am smoothing and bulging out the uh, remaining skin outside of those wrinkles, creating a nice organic appearance. Uh, I'm going to then do that again. So I'm gonna play with how much that surface comes out. Uh, and I'm gonna go back and forth with this. And, and by playing with this, I can actually soften and sort of combine those lumps together to create a nice sort of organic pattern. This is again, just using edge and surface and clay polish. Um, it's, a, it's a really cool, effective uh, way of doing it. Um, now here you'll see I'm going to mask off the lips uh, and the eyes as well because I don't want them being affected as much by this uh, polish process. Um, and you can see here quickly I'm getting a lot of different effects just by playing with these number values. Uh, it's it's pretty amazing what clay polish can do. Um, it's, it's a pretty old feature in ZBrush, but I don't see a lot of people using it uh, as much as, as they should, uh, because you can very quickly and easily detail so much of your sculpt uh, with it. So here you can see now, this looks almost nothing like uh, the the wrinkle sculpt that we created that was really harsh and really like forward. This is now almost like soft and organic. And all of those wrinkling uh, components have sort of combined into this just nice undulating shape that goes across the skin.
So now I'm going in with the Damien Standard Brush or the DMN Standard Brush. Um, and now that I have these sort of wrinkles um, defined, I then go in and take the lumps and masses of the face. Now, this is a stylized face, so the meatiness of the face kind of makes this a little bit easier, uh, you know, but any face will have this or any sort of skin object will have this arms, legs, any organic you know, form. Uh, and essentially what I'm doing is kind of a cross hatching pattern where instead of like carving out the muscles, using a straight line, I'm kind of cross hatching over that line to create more wrinkling that helps define the, the form itself. Um, I find this looks a lot more natural than just kind of chiseling out a line where like a fold should be, uh, and instead makes, you know, that feel like multiple little folds that are creating that overall shape, which is what naturally would happen in the face. I'm also coming in with the uh, clay tubes and uh, sort of almost like knocking down some of the intensity of the uh, wrinkling that is happening on the face and overlaying it with my own strokes. Again, trying to, once again, just, just enhance the areas that I want enhanced. I'm thinking about the final image, the final render, um, and, and gearing it towards that, using the matte cap to kind of help drive sort of where where I, I feel like I need to enhance these forms. Here now is me using the same technique I used for the wrinkling, but instead now I'm using this alpha that's a sharp point, um, and I'm spraying it additively as well as subtractively to create my final bump pour layer. And just by spraying these on, I'm able to hide kind of imperfections. I'm able to hide some of the strokes that I dumbed down before, and. Once you throw a material on this, uh, it looks pretty fantastic. And it's a fantastic base to kind of sculpt and start from. Now you can expand this obviously by creating a layer for the wrinkles and a layer for the pores and then mixing them and blending them as well. Um, I didn't do that for this one. Uh, I was pretty adamant on creating a more rougher appearance with the face because I knew I was going to have a lot of subsurface scattering. And here I'm just doing some test renders to see how the pores and wrinkling holds up against an analytic light within ZBrush. And once I was satisfied with that, uh, it was a pretty easy jump over into Marmoset where I did this really quick render. So you can see here in about nine minutes, I was able to detail a majority of the skin on his head and it gave me a really cool semi stylized skin experience. Um, Use this technique on your own heads. I'd love to see what you come up with. Uh, again, this isn't meant to be necessarily the final skin texture that you use for everything, but is really useful when you're in a pinch or you're in a time crunch and you want to get some detail quickly and easily onto an organic form. 
If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys, and I also love to see what you guys do. Also, uh, follow me on my Twitter, uh, which is at Digisculpt, and also follow me on Twitch, which this video was recorded from. Uh, I usually go live most nights, and you can watch me as I go there. Thanks.